So when I was coming, I wrote something. Because you're getting to a point now where you're starting to move everything, yeah? And you're starting to see your programs. And these programs are not who you are. This is your ego, your protections, your personalities, your parents, your society, everything that's transpired in your life. Your sufferings, your joys, your prejudices. Nothing has anything to do with who you are. This is simply your human experience. And in order to get beyond that, firstly, you have to become empty. Because without emptiness, you can't experience unity. Because when you're just consciousness, you can move into everything. Because your vibration will move out. But when you're full of stress, full of programs, full of noise, and thinking that your head is God, because in reality, it's the exact opposite. It's your human experience, which is eternally based in duality. It doesn't matter how refined you are, how intelligent you are, how evolved you are, how spiritual you are. If you're still living in your head, you will never experience freedom. Okay, and I just wrote this. It was very short. I think I basically just said it. I just wrote this. We must become empty so we can experience unity. Because it is all the programs that hold us within our personality houses. And when we clean the house, the emptiness... The consciousness will start to seep into everything. The walls will fall with the sheer force of an ocean against a dike. You know, it's so powerful consciousness. It's like that. Like the personality is such a fragile wall. It cannot sustain consciousness. Once it expands so much, so much, so much, it has to move out. And the oneness will consume everything. And the illusion of separation will fall. And it will fall and become the unity of oneness. The unity... Of love creates me in my perfection. Without judgment. Just love. Just the love. And this is the truth. The unity with God. And all humans need to aspire towards that. Because it's who you are. Everything else is holding you in a place of suffering. And you might get to a point where you experience a lot of freedom. But until you break the illusion of suffering or of your humanity, you won't experience absolute freedom. Why? Because you'll still be experiencing fear. Until you wake up, you experience fear. And you can be there at the pinnacle or the precipice waiting to go. But it's that aspect of fear that stops you moving into everything. And it's not something that's not available to everyone. You know, not many humans get to this point. 
And you've come to this point. You've come to that point of stabilizing consciousness. You've taken a risk to experience absolute freedom. Humans don't do this. There's too much fear. So you're, at, you're here. And you're highly evolved as humans to be here. But you have to open. This is the moment to open. This is the moment to just see the judgments for what they are. Because every judgment you have is against God. You think it's about Fred or, or Julie or Jose or Santiago or Isha or Maria Laura, but it's not. Every judgment you have is against God. And you see the arrogance of the head. I perceive that there is something wrong. But this is God. How can there be something wrong? So the little human thinks they know more than God. God made a mistake. This illusion, which is God, is broken. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with my illusion. And here's this little human who's actually everything, is God, living in judgment. And this you have to see too. This little machine, it's not true. None of it's true. This is the door to consciousness. Come visit our webpage for books, movies and our wonderful retreat centers. Isha's simple yet powerful system is transforming lives around the world.